What is going on YouTube? This is Travis from Chasing Anthems coming at you guys with another reaction video. This one is definitely near and dear to my heart. Uh, you may or may not know, but I play lead guitar in a country alternative rock band. We play a little bit of everything. But going back to my roots, I originally uh, played the bass guitar. And it was something I was really passionate about. And I really dove deep into mastering the craft. Um, but over time, you know, it's hard to find other bands that, that mix and match with your style. So I, I made the leap over to uh, to lead guitar. So anyways, no hate in the comments. I <laughs> I like to play everything. I appreciate playing everything. But um, with that being said, Jocko is by far uh, an inspiration not only to myself, but to many other um, bassists out there that um admire just his, his style his improv improvisation um what he did to kind of uh let bass players take the center stage and use their creativity and their improvisational skills to elevate um their craft so with that being said we're gonna get into this if you're new to the channel please go ahead subscribe hit the like button comment give us ideas about future videos you'd like to see in the near future also, be sure to check out Chasing Anthem's original music. Hit the little channel icon to check out our music, or you can check us out on any of the social media platforms at Chasing Anthems. With that being said, let's get into this video. All right, this is Jacob Pastorius, A Portrait of Tracy. I love his uh, use of harmonics. Um, you hear that a lot in like Victor Wooten. He'll do a lot of stuff like that. Who is another one of my um, favorite bass artists out there that um, really takes the improvisational skills just to the next level. Um, you really you, you feel the passion and the heart um, similar to Jocko when he plays. It's funny. I had a very similar bass. Actually, I think my second bass I owned was a Fender jazz bass and I took the pick guard off so it looked very similar and I've, I've heard similar stories um to where because Jocko played a fretless bass I've heard of uh, folks who couldn't afford to go buy a fretless bass but they wanted to be like Jocko so bad that they they filed down the, the fret so they could you know get that similar uh vibe and sound but uh extremely influential to uh, bass players, especially of that era and beyond, um, he's still revered as one of the the trailblazers in the uh, the world of bass guitar, um, and that's pretty obvious by listening. <laughs> Not many 
many bass players would be willing to put themselves out there center stage no band behind them um you know i can only think of a handful of other artists or bass players that um have those kind of chops but also are willing to put it out there um you know i always listen to not for the right notes but the wrong notes quote unquote um and what a more jazz artist uh like jocko um how they improvise those imperfections into um the music that they're they're sharing and i, I like it i i really like it i think it's awesome and i think um this is a dying skill in my opinion um unless you go to more jazz or blues type festivals you'll rarely see an artist like this that will be willing to just lay it all out there um without the the support of the other band uh or the band backing them up um really special and it definitely crafted how i approached playing uh not only the bass guitar but you know just music in general <laughs> those harmonics are it sounds so precise and so on point you know music is such an emotional experience and um you can feel it you feel like you're going on this this roller coaster and this ride of emotions um and you can almost hear a pin drop with the exception of when there's a little break that this club or wherever he's playing i'm not 100 percent sure if you know in the comments go ahead and and drop where this was recorded um but he just has captivated his audience to take them on this journey musically and it's such an emotional ride and it's uh it's awesome and it's uh well done it's, it's tasteful it's not in your face super fast and just aggressive but it's just it's this really beautiful melodic ride that um it's kind of like where are we going next right but those harmonic um notes that he throws in there are just phenomenal really on point <laughs> With that being said, overall, Jocko is just, I mean, it speaks for itself, right? Do I even need to say anything more? There's nothing I could add that the music didn't already speak for itself. Um, yeah, I, one thing I was curious is A Portrait of Tracy. I, I'm curious what that, that title means. I'm sure there's um, some background information on that. If you know, I'd be happy to hear uh, in the comments below. Share uh, whatever information you may have. But uh, it definitely makes me want to go get the old bass out and um, improve on my improvisational skills. Because uh, I know I have a lot of work still left to do there. Uh, and maybe I'll shoot some videos in the future of me uh, doing a little bass improv. But with that being said, thank you so much for joining us today. Clicking on this video. 
please be sure to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, uh, comment below, all that kind of good stuff. We thank you so much. And with that being said, we will check you out on the next one. Peace. Take care.